Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we will discuss all the common childhood rashes and how to differentiate them from each other. At the very end of this video, we will do some practice for the self-evaluation. If you find this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Now let's jump into the video. So what are the common childhood rashes? These are measles, rubella, erythema infectiosum or feet disease. Roseola, scarlet fever, chickenpox, and hand foot mouth disease. You can also see the agents causing these diseases. One more disease that causes a rash is Kawasaki disease, a medium vessel vasculitis, not caused by an agent. We will discuss it too in this video. Let's start with a picture. Can you recognize that? That's right, this is a typical picture of measles, an erythematous maculopapular confluent rash that starts at hairline and spreads downwards with the sparing of thumb and soles. This is very important, maculopapular rash but does not involve the palm or sole. On the contrary, secondary syphilis, although an STD, presents with a similar maculopapular rash but also involves the palm and sole like this. Now you see the difference, right? You may also see a picture of coplic spots like this. These are tiny white spots seen inside the cheeks opposite the molars. So it is possible that you may not see a picture of rash in your exam, but rather a picture showing coplic spots. Now let's move on to the next picture. That's right, looks like measles too. Quite similar, even their presentation. But this is a picture of rubella. So here you need to take some help from the stem. The diagnosis will be rubella when you see maculopapular rash with lymphadenopathy, such as post auricular or posterior cervical. Otherwise, only seeing the picture, it is not easy to differentiate between these two. Now the next one. That's right, erythema infectiosum or FIB disease. Do you know why it is called the FIB disease? Because it is number FIB on the standard list of rash causing childhood diseases. Here, erythematous maculopapular rash most commonly appears in the face, particularly the cheeks, with circumoral sparing. Hence, the other name is slapped cheek syndrome. The rash may also involve the trunk or extremities like this in this child. All right, let's see the next one. That's right, it is roseola. There is no way you can identify the rash without a history. So here you need help from the stem too. The rash is blanching, pink, maculopapular that starts at the neck and trunk, and then spreads to the face and extremities. But here, the main point is the rash will appear once the high fever subsides. So once there is a rash, there will be no fever. One more here. You were right. Scarlet fever. Here the rash begins one to two days following a strep pharyngitis. There will be diffuse erythematous rash with small papules or bumps, which resembles goosebumps. These bumps feel like a sandpaper-like rash. So here the buzzword is sandpaper-like rash. It also has flushed cheeks and a characteristic strawberry tongue. Next one. Right. Chicken pox. Here the rash will begin on the trunk and then spread to the face and extremities with lesions of different stages such as macules to papules to vesicles to crust. These are typical and you will never miss in the exam. Next. That's 
That is right, you are correct. As the location suggests, it is hand foot mouth disease. Very typical. Here you will see vesicles and pustules in the palm, sole, and mouth. Now the last one. Yes, Kawasaki disease. It is a medium vessel vasculitis with a predilection for coronary arteries. Here the polymorphous rash will be associated with some other special features. The easiest mnemonic here is PRIM, C for conjunctival injection, R for rash, E for edema of the hand and feet, A for adenopathy, particularly cervical adenopathy, and M for mucosal changes such as strawberry tongue. So, in summary, you must get at least one question in exam from childhood rashes. Here, all you need is to know the key differentiating points from each other. Examiner will always try to trick you, but hopefully after watching this video, you will be able to choose the right answer. Now, we will do some exercise here. I will show some pictures and you need to write the answer in the comment box and we will go from there.